get in little huddles like this. You know, because I love Rachel. I love Crystal Light, and we just hanging out. These are my people. And we just kill it. We, we kick it in. <laughs> but while we comfortable, while we comfortable, somebody's walking right past. Go ahead, walk this way, walk this way. And I'm missing her because I'm so comfortable with my crew. And I'm missing her. And this could be the person that they, they wrote a letter before they came. This, this was their last result. And I'm so comfortable in my crew that I'm missing it. So we got to break our comfort in this season. We got to break our comfort in this season. And, and, I, and I get it. I get it. We push. And I want to break the fact that you guys are here today. But when we get here, we get so comfortable in our group that we miss why we're here in the first place. So I realized one or two things. Because blind man Bartimaeus, he experienced, he experienced two things from the same people. Uh, one thing that he experienced was the rebukes, right? He's sitting there begging, he hears Jesus, and he begins to yell. And it says that they rebuked him and told him to be quiet. So I realized one or two things that we're doing. We're either breaking blocks or we are a block. We're either breaking blocks or we are a block. So, Crystal, you be Jesus. So, so Crystal's Jesus. She's here, she's here, she's here. And you're Bartimaeus, you're Bartimaeus, you're Bartimaeus, you're Bartimaeus. Now, when they were rebuking him, they were blocks. Right, they were rebuking him. And some of you don't realize that even just the fact that we don't notice them, we're rebuking them. Yeah. Even the simple fact that we're not talking to them, we're rebuking them. They're hearing the same things in their head that they heard all their life when they walk into the church, when we're so comfortable. And so we could be blocking them. We could be blocking them. We could be rebuking them. And now they can't get to Jesus because I've been a block. Wow. Now what God's called us to do is break blocks. Yeah. Now, it made me think, what are the things that are blocking these people from coming in? So you stand right here, Levette. You stand right here. What are the things that are blocking, blocking them from being able to get to Christ? And so they made a decision. They said, I'm going to get up and I'm going to go to church today. But there's insecurity that is blocking them from being able to experience God. There's bitterness that is blocking them from being able to get to God. There's all of these things that are blocking them. Now, God would call you. He would call you and say that I called you to break these blocks so they can get to them. So when I give them a hug, I'm breaking a block. Yeah. When, when, when I say, hey, listen, God has a plan for you. I don't know what anybody else has said. I'm breaking a block. And every time I'm breaking these blocks, they're getting closer and closer to what Jesus said. You know what? Somebody else told you that you weren't beautiful. Somebody else told you that you weren't called. God has called you to break that block. So that you can see the picture of what their Savior said. Come on, come on. God come has on. called us to break come blocks on. in this season. Come on. And if you're not breaking blocks, you are a block. Mm. If you're not breaking blocks, you are a block. Mm. So I just want to challenge you today. The gospel is urgent. People are coming in hurting. It's time to shift. We cannot just come in and out of these doors each weekend and check off the box. I served this weekend. Pat yourself on. No, when you walk in, you're breaking blocks today. 